my name's Nancy Lowry. I'm an oil painter from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I primarily concentrate in landscape painting and I'm represented by Art Placement Art Gallery in Saskatoon. Mostly I work with oil. When I'm outside, I work with oil. In the winter, I do a lot of small studies in watercolor for my car because it's too cold to work outside. And I draw a lot. I'm constantly sketching. I just have a sketchbook in my pocket all the time for little studies. So sometimes I'll riff off one of those. And in my studio, I, I often paint very small, little five by six paintings. And those ones, I can do, I can do up to 10 of them in a day sometimes. And sometimes I'll continue to go back to one for six months and not finish it. Like it's kind of this back and forth process. Color is a huge influence on my work. Um, a lot of old abstract painters are huge influences on my work and also a lot of landscape painters. And I read a lot and I, I think a lot about just like dream psychology and mind spaces and different things. I do paint outside a lot, but when you're painting outside, you don't have control over like the wind, the changing of the light, the bugs, the how much time you spend if a sudden storm runs in or whatever. So you have to roll with it, right? So like a lot of my things are rolling with it. Idea of many trails to me or many paths just feeds like, there's so many choices you can make in art making. And it's kind of like an endless inspiration that you can have. It's one thing I love about the landscape too is that trees are all so different and clouds are also different. They're constantly changing. So even if you do kind of make a mistake, you can almost like look two degrees to the left and find that exact branch on another tree and be like, okay, I'm just gonna maneuver that that way. And I often do that. Well, I, I like to play with depth and like obviously a painting is a two dimensional surface mostly, like depending on thickness, of course there's, but I like to see what you can push and push and pull with. And I always really want to work with the edges too. Like I don't want something just like a central thing in the, in the canvas usually. I, like I want to bring it all around. And um, that one I definitely did while I was in a deep woods. And so some of the things that I was trying to capture are way back there. And some of them are right close to you. So I'm, I'm always questioning and trying different ways. And I'm looking at how other artists tackle that same question. For me, the big jump with when I connected with Art Placement, the commercial gallery, was for one thing it was very validating. I had known that gallery since I was a child, and those um, the people that have run that gallery are artists, artists that I looked up to. They have work in, in the show. It kind of it validates you to collectors. It puts you to a new audience. You, they, like, they've sold work to mine to different private collections and things that I would never have had access to. Having a validating gallery that is reputed, which like both Slate and Art Placement are outside of the province. Like if you tell someone in another gallery in Toronto or Vancouver or something, that's where you show, you're already accredited to some degree.